I'm here at Ratho Farm uh, on Table Cape. Um, we're looking at some incorporation of a biofumigant mustard. This mustard is called Caliente and it also at 9 kilograms per hectare and it's also got Nemat, uh, sorry, 7 kilograms per hectare, Nemat at 2 kilograms per hectare, so a total of 9. Um, as you can see, that in the way we're seeding it, that has produced a dense canopy. So the mustard has been in the ground since uh, late February, early March. Um, it has been very dry. We'd normally expect more biomass than this, but today that's working in our favour. We're incorporating the biofuming mustard after um, after seven mils of rain yesterday, and I'll, it's got a pretty uh, meagre root on it compared to sometimes. So here we go. When a more mature plant, they can get quite a lot, quite long. I don't have a spade with me. I'm not sure how long that is now, but they can get quite deep, and then it's got quite quite a lot of fibrous roots off the side. A lot more. Uh, larger roots than say a tillage radish or something. So, um, so it does some pretty good ground conditioning. Uh, regardless of the questions about soil health, the uh, the ground comes up very nicely by uh, pulverising the leaf with the mulcher. Um, you mix water with uh, glucosinolate in the leaf. Releasing a glycosylthionate, I think I've got that around the right way, which is a which is a gas that will, according to the packet, uh, biofumigate your soil. Now, is this good or bad? We will find out. Um, we have been using this for a number of years, and it does seem to be good. But the theory on a soil health. Just want to show you the fibrous nature of these um, caliente mustard and, um, roots here. That it's really quite impressive. These are still attached together from being in the paddock, and it gives you gets gives you a bit of an idea why we're coming up with such good structure after this has grown. Um, so generally we've got some, after we've grown this, if it's incorporated when it's dry enough, which is, is very dry, this incorporation, um, then we're seeing um, some brilliant structure afterwards that's um, really helping out. mulching it pretty much as low as we can manage. Um, ideally we'd have wheels on the front mulcher here so it floated a bit more. And uh, yeah we've just got a heliodor, a Lenkin heliodor disc on the back which is heavy enough today to get incorporated pretty well.